Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alex is here with Oat Modesty. Well, today is the day for my monthly collab with Angie of 4F Beauty. And today we'll be mutually working with ColourPop's Yes Please palette. And I know you're not seeing any colors here. And if you're a little bit curious of seeing what type of look I came up with, please stay tuned. <music> You guys ready my beautiful wildflowers well this is episode four of my monthly collab with the beautiful angie from 4f beauty if you can recall the first one was with the anastasia beverly hills amorizi palette the second one was with dominique cosmetics and that was the celestial storm and the third one was with viziart the libertine palette and this is now the fourth one this is the fourth episode so it's been four months it, feels like we just started this just a few days ago anyway today we are going to be working with the yes palette by ColourPop and so you you guys know I do enjoy ColourPop and this is one of the ones that um, Angie and I both had so we decided to do that and this was a great idea that Angie came up with which is to do a monthly collab using palettes that are retro things that we might have already in our position but we don't really get a chance to use and so you know we don't both own the same complete collection so i mean we just pick and choose from what each of us have and most most of the time i mean it's ones that i haven't even used yet or one that i had forgotten about okay and so this gives me a great opportunity to use these palettes and the only rules are that we use just this palette for the eye look of course we can use mascaras and eyeliners anything else but only the palette for the eyeshadow would be this one the chosen one and I want to go ahead and give you a look at this and I really love this color story and it's a very flexible color story that I am comfortable with and most of the time I'm not comfortable with a lot of the bright colors but there's nothing that says we have to do bright color look but just the look to kind of introduce to you what the palette can do and like I said this is yes please by ColourPop and so this is what I'll be using and to give you a little bit of um, a history here well I'll talk about the history um, a little bit not really a history but I guess um, about Angie and her channel but since you know I'm gonna go into this look let's get started and we can be kind of chatty but you guys know I don't do very well with talk and work so I'm gonna go ahead and do my best and so I have my mirror set up over here so I can see and uh, of course my 10 times magnification doesn't help me with all my lines but that's okay anyway before we get started uh to give you how i prepped I, my face is a little bit shiny because i did do masks just now and then um what i did was i put on my spf 42 and that is by what did i oh it's a tinted one actually and it's by dermatology okay that's my favorite one and let me let me get it for you just to show you okay it's this company here okay this is the actual cleanser but this is the company the um uh the sunscreen is just to let you know what i'm using today and it does kind of it hasn't settled yet in my skin once it settles it will absorb and it will not be shiny like this but yeah so just give you a hint and also as usual i am using my brow wiz and media mash by anastasia and to really prime my eyelids today i'm using my primer by Mario and I really love this I think you know I mean I have tons of primers but this is the one I go back to as you notice I probably will hit pan with this soon and even though you can't tell but this powder that I set my um primer with is actually got a little divot in here and this is the color that I usually use for um the winter times today I have this color because it is the closest actually to my skin tone in the summer okay so that's why I love the flexibility of this so yeah that's that but let's get started like I said I love the color story and what I like about this one unlike a lot of the newer palettes by ColourPop is there's no um glitter because I really don't like a palette with the glitter and the mattes and everything mixed in because it just gets messy and but this one is nice it has a nice metallic and so let's see what I can do with it 
And so let's get started. And uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my Sonia G brush, okay, Sonia G fluffy brush, and I will actually uh, give it a nice uh, highlight. And we're gonna go with Changes, which is this peachy color here, okay? And I'm gonna put this all over except for um, my, right immediately under my eyelid. And that's pretty much what I do. And so, yeah, and unfortunately this palette does not have a mirror. So let me just quickly grab a mirror. Alrighty, sorry about that. I should have probably had this all together, but for some reason I thought there was a mirror in this one, but I'd be wrong, but that's okay. When it's not the first time, it won't be the last. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over to kind of um, give it an evenness to my eyelids, a shade, even though I do have the primer, I like to actually get a base color set and this is not necessarily my transition color, um, although it could be, but it's a little light for transition because it is very similar to my skin tone, okay? And you guys know when I do this, I do I go directly from pan to eyelid and I don't tap off the excess. Um, sometimes I have to, depending on how much pigments there are, but um, yeah. And in this case, I've been, it's my actually my base priming color. I'm not gonna do that, okay? So anyway, let me tell you a little bit about Angie's um, channel. Or her channel is mostly um, education, and she goes very close up on all of her looks, and she records it in real time. She doesn't edit out any of the push portions of it like I will be doing to uh, cut some time because she does step by step, and she, she does very different looks from time to time, and she also has uh, many collaboratives with other people that is very interesting, and I really enjoy watching. And um, also she goes very close up so you can see the details of it for those of you who are new. So please check out her channel and her link will be below. And I'll also link all of the other videos that I did with her prior so you can see the other ones in case you missed it. Okay, next I will take my smaller, more focused uh, round brush by Sonia G and I will go into the color spoiled for my creases. Oh wow, this, you know, this is uh, very pigmented. As you know, uh, ColourPop is pretty pigmented. And, uh, but the good thing about it is that you can blend it out pretty easy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it into the crease and I'm gonna go a little bit above like I did the right hand side. Okay, next, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dust off um, this uh, fluffy brush that I use for my foundation and I'm using a color switch and just go ahead and I swirl that around there so I can use it again because I have only a limited number of Sony G brushes. <laughs> okay, and also I'm going to go into this mischief and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and um, use this like kind of like um, on top of transition, okay? And so that way it, it lights, I don't do yellow, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what, what that'll look like. So anyway, and so another thing about um, Angie's uh, channel, I just wanna let you know is that she does explain the difference between like, um, hooded eyes versus like deep set eyes. I have hooded eyes. Well, like if you close, if your eye open my eyes, you see how my, the, the hood kind of comes over. So you kind of miss this whole eyelid. Whereas uh, Angie has uh, more of a deep set eyes. And so, yeah, and she teaches her techniques for those things as well. And so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue to add a little bit more of this yellow because I do want to kind of like a, have a little bit of a tint of yellow, but not too much, okay? And so I'm holding the brush way back so that way it's light hand and not heavy hand. And that's one thing that I learned with time is that if I held it here, it, it focuses a lot of color because um, it's it's a lot more strong and you press down harder. But if you hold it at the end, it kind of like swipes it. And so I'm just swiping a little bit of this mischief color to give it a hint of yellow, okay? Okay, and since I am trying to give it like the sunshine look and you know, the summer day look with a little yellow and a little bit of um, orangey color scheme, is so I'm gonna go in with the whole eyelid, um, mostly focusing on the inner and outer and leaving the middle blank with this Louis color. And this is a metallic. And now I'm going into um, the lids with, again, Sonia G and this is a flatter packing brush, okay? And so let's see how this works out. And usually these colors are applied better with the fingertips, but with ColourPop, you guys know the color gets picked up really easy. So you can use a brush for that. That's one thing I do enjoy about ColourPop. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops, I don't wanna come out of this, okay, out of the screen, but 
I'm gonna go, go ahead and focus this here. I'm gonna try to leave the metal blank, even though it wouldn't matter if I didn't, because I'm gonna go over it with a nice light metallic to kind of give it a halo eyes. But I'm gonna go ahead and now blend this in. Okay, you know, I'm really loving this color scheme because it reminds me of sunny, sunny day in, you know, in June, but it's July now. So July 1st, actually. Yeah, the first Thursday of the month when we have the collab fell on the very first day of the month. So yeah, anyway, so I like this color scheme. And but you know what I do want to do is I think there's a lot of um, lightness, but maybe I'll go ahead and darken the outer um, the outer V a little bit. Not too much though. I don't want to do too much. I just add a little shadow. And so not like eyeshadow, like shadow. <laughs> so French kiss is what I think I'm going to go ahead and use. Hmm, or should I not? Is that too dark? No, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, French kiss right here. I'm going to go ahead with just a tap and not not something like I would do if I were um, doing a night look, right? And so in this case, I think I'm going to go ahead and tap this off. And I don't, like I said, I don't typically do, but I'm going to a little bit just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and just tap it in just to darken it up a little bit because there is a lot of sunshine here. And we need to give it a little bit of a shade, a little bit of cloud coming over. Okay. And another thing I love about ColourPop is the fact that you can layer it. You know, you can go from light to, um, to thicker, darker, or whatever, and then um, build it up. But the thing is, you do have the potential with this type of um, shadow, especially ColourPop, to over, you know, overdo it at first strike. So, or stroke, I should say. Okay. As you guys know, I don't talk and do this really well, so I'm working on that. <laughs> okay, so this eye, uh, uh, how do I do that? Yeah, I got to close this eye. See, like I said, I have to think about it. Sorry about that. I think I just took myself out of focus. Okay, and here, just adding a little shadow. Okay, let me just blend this a little bit. Okay, next, the halo effect. I am going to go ahead and um, use this color buttercream in the center. And so that way I can get a little bit of a pop. <laughs> and so let's see. I don't want to put too much though because I'm going for a daytime look today. So let's see. But um, yeah, let's go. Ooh, this is really pretty. You know, and what I want to do is I want it to be not like too subtle, but subtle enough where it's not too much during the day. But when the sun hits it just right, it just looks beautiful. And so that's the look I'm going for. And I decided to go with this halo look. That way when the sun hits the center here, you can see the shine, but because I allowed the darkness of the shadow, it doesn't look too shiny. So hopefully it works out. I haven't been outside, so I think so. I think it will. And I'm also, also noticing right now that th that's a quite a bit of yellow for me and it's making me kind of like look jaundice up here. I don't know if you noticed that. It might not capture on um, the camera, but definitely I'm looking a little yellow. So I'm going to have to kind of buff that out a little. Okay, just to buff out that little jaundice yellow look, I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. You, uh, blend in the um, edges with using this color here. It's called Champs. And I'm going to go back to the original fluffy brush that I used. And so I don't want to put too much because I don't want to like take away the yellow. I just wanted the edges to blend so it's not so shocking. So yeah. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go over that and making sure that I don't get too far under the um, eye, eyelids. No, <laughs> the eyebrows because I want to go ahead. You guys know I like to have a very clean line. Um, I don't go in like, like a lot of people do with, um, uh, what do you call it? concealer because I have texture there and if I go into it with the concealer it actually um, does worse so I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out really lightly just so I can blend the yellow edges out but I still want that you know the sunshine yellow a little bit there but I just need to make it you know a little less uh, jaundice looking so yeah okay okay lastly I'm going to be using this flat packing brush or under the brow brush whatever it is it's by Sonia G also I use just her brushes today to see what difference it really makes and it does make a difference of how it will blends you know the brushes and so I've been trying different um, brushes to see what works good with which colors and um, also with ColourPop you know it kicks up so I'm thinking well maybe if I had this really soft uh, natural fibers instead of the uh, my refer which is the goat hair 
that's a little bit harsh, so I know it'll kick up more. And then I notice, I mean, look, I mean, there's there are a little bit of kick up, but it's not as bad as it normally is. So I'm gonna next, I'm gonna go in for under my brows with this full zip and to light, lighten it up, okay? And then um, as far as, like I said, I only have, what, five Sony G brushes? Um, so what I'm doing is using the color switch back and forth, and it's working fine, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, yep. And I love to have like a clean white color right underneath, and that it contrasts, you know, all the other colors that kind of helps to frame um, the colors underneath it, your look, so. I really do enjoy that. And sometimes I take it down a little bit to give it light because um, sometimes the look is so dark that I want to open up my eye space a little bit. And a, the good way to do that is take something like this and kind of follow it very lightly to about here, okay? And yeah, because you know, it's like contouring. You just, if you want to bring it forward, you want to go ahead and make it light. You want to set it backwards. You want to make it dark, right? So that's that. And this white actually helps as well because when I'm using this um, yellow color here, Mischief, um, it kind of blends but doesn't. It makes me look kind of like yellow. And so it, I blended it out far enough, but unless I add some light to the top, you're not going to notice it. So at least it gives you the contrast. So yeah. And so that's that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish the look. But this is the eyeshadow look. And I'm really interested in finding out how Angie does with this palette. And she's like totally into bright colors. So she, I bet she's going to use a lot of this yellow color here. And probably a lot of your, um, I'm going to venture to say she's definitely going to use this one here. So I'm really interested in seeing what she comes up with. And that's another reason why this is a great um, collab for me is the fact that you could get so many different looks and I can see how she did and she can see how I did and all of you can see how both of us did. So you can see the difference, right? So do check out her channel. I will leave her link below, okay? But in the meanwhile, so I can finish this look, I'll be right back. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, this is the finished look. So what do you think? I did end up going with the uh, South Beachy motif with the palm trees and orange, and I was looking for a summer look. And even though I don't do oranges very well, um, just a hint of peaches and everything else um, kind of adds to, I don't know, what do you think? And so let me tell you what I did. After I finished the eye look um, with the design of summer in mind, I did, under on um, underline <laughs> i lined it using mark jacobs okay and this is kind of like a golden tone but i did it very faintly underneath so it should be not that noticeable okay and that was my goal and after that what i did was i did curl my eyelashes the reason why i don't normally mention this but i am mentioning it because i got this to trial from riffer and um, i paid for it it's one of those things you can get a discount and you leave a uh, your thoughts of it because they do research on it and this is i mean i have to say this is the best curler i have ever had because i do have some what are they um kind of sunk back in um eyelids with um kind of like an oval shaped and so all the other ones that are kind of round it doesn't work well. But look how this is like flat and it's like more flat against my eyes and it's, I'm really loving it. Anyway, yeah, just a little piece there because I'm so impressed with it. And as far as my um, eyelashes, I did use my usual MAC. I had to open this. I had a couple of other things um, open. I just opened a milk makeup one about a week ago. Let me show you this one here. It's horrible. I, I, I'm sorry. I wanted to love it because this is nice. You know, nice, nice case, very heavy. But the problem is it's it's supposed to be waterproof. And when I actually splash, blah, blah, wow, I can't talk right now. Sorry. When I splash water on my face, I have raccoon eyes. I'm like, wait a minute. This is waterproof, right? And I checked and it says, yeah, Kush waterproof. It didn't work out, guys, for me. And I'm sorry about that because I paid a lot. I think for that mascara because I thought it would be good but no that was a no-go for me okay with this look sorry about that um I did bronze my face and I did so uh because I wanted to really get that vibe of summer getting a suntan and everything else and so I did go in initially with my hula this color here 
and I did do the um, top here and then also some edges here. But as far as my cheek goes, because this color, as you notice, is a little bit on a brown side, I wanted more of a sunshine, kind of like just came out of the sun look. And in order for me to get that look, I needed to have something a little bit more in the orange tone, but I don't like orange, the orange tone, okay, that goes that way. So what I did was I used my Girl On or Your Line, however you say it, and this is terracotta and you notice this has got a little bit more of an undertone of orange than the other one does which has got like a gray undertone and so i did use that actually for right in here and also across my nose to give me that i just been in a sun look and as far as my blush i'm really losing words here guys and it's it's not even like late afternoon yet. Not even my nap time. Anyway, I did go into this and I try to focus on this orange, this light orange here, because again, I wanted to get that sunshine. We're in the summer and I'm in South Beach vibe, okay? And so that's what I used. And as far as my highlighter, what I did use this time is the miniature one here by, uh, what is it, Becca? Yes, Becca Beauty. And I use this one here, try to get that vibe, but I don't know why, but this is really heavy. And it kind of left a little line there that I didn't like. So I had to really buff that out. And um, I also finished it off with this here. This is the all nighter. It's a waterproof powder. I do that because I do have to splash my face, you know, during the day right before my prayer. So this is waterproof actually. And this does actually help maintain my uh, makeup. And this is what I used for that. And again, my foundation, I want to give it that nice, I got a tan look. And so I do have two different shades in this. This is Natasha Denona. I really love, love, love this foundation for the matte look. And this one is in 45N, which is a little darker. And in a winter, I use 40N. I have them both, but I really love it when I want to go ahead and get that look. And also, I don't know if you noticed, I do have like a light lightness under my eyes. And instead of using my usual by Terry, which is similar to my skin tone, I did use this here, which is the Instant Age Rewind. And this is one of my favorite um, highlighters for under my eyes. And this is a concealer, but I use it as a highlight uh, because I don't have a whole lot of dark circles to conceal. But this is actually a very, very good one. It blends beautifully and it doesn't uh, it doesn't settle in my lines. So I do like this. And it's by Maybelline, okay? Instant Age Rewind, very in inexpensive, under $10. Okay, that's that. And what else? Oh, for my lips, I did go with the Marc Jacobs lip gloss. I didn't want since, you know, this is kind of like the look of I'm going outside, having fun. It's summertime look. So I didn't want to do a heavy lipstick. So I did use this here. And this is like an orangey look. And as you can see, there's a tint of color. And I like that. So yeah, that's it, my beautiful wildflowers. And also, uh, what do I think about this palette? I really like this palette. It was so easy to use, guys. Very easy to use. I mean, this would be great for a beginner. And I'm sure, you know, Angie may say the same thing. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what vibe she went for. And I went for the, all this summer vibe. You know, I'm out in the sun. I'm in South Beach. I just got a tan. I'm going to go out, you know, go shopping in one of these expensive shops. Not. Anyway, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. And do check out Angie's site. Like I said, um, she will be doing the same palette. Different look, I'm sure. It'll be kind of strange if we use the same colors, but I did try to use as many as possible. So I don't know, maybe some overlap, okay? Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did like it and I added any value, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this type of content, please do consider subscribing and please hit that bell button and also select all so you know every time I upload a new video. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, thank you so very much for spending your time with me today. And please have a good day, a good night, good week, a good weekend, whenever you're watching this. But it doesn't matter. Just remember, never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.